Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We have a big boy pulling in and uh, it's got a bunch of new wagons on. The platforms are getting a bit full. We'll take a look uh, when I bring the UI up. But uh, yeah, we're struggling a little bit with our uh, construction materials. I don't know whether that will mean a longer train, more flat cars, more trains, possibly. It all depends on the other end. Things might turn around though. This could just be a backlog and we'll keep an eye on it. We had that issue, didn't we, where our big boys were sitting there doing nothing for a long time and uh, waiting on plastics. So that may all change and we can keep an eye on that. News. I don't normally do news. Transport Fever 2 Deluxe and the console edition are coming March the 9th. I haven't got the beta installed at the moment. I might do a separate video on that and it might be in Scotland if it doesn't break. There are some performance issues with Scotland and I know some of you would like to head back there. And uh, what better way to revisit Scotland than with uh, a fancy upgrade to Transport Fever 2? Be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Today is a bit of a build. We're going to try for a bit of a mountain railway and we should see it from here. That's why I'm sat here, by the way, other than the uh, full platforms. Up in the hills there, where the tree line is, I'm hoping we see our new train and it might be electric. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments. Uh, we're going to have plenty of diesels coming and they're all going to be down here on the main lines. So it might give us an excuse to stretch our legs with a, a few uh, electric trains. Okay, UI is up. We now have emptied pretty much the platforms. It might be a little bit early to add some more stuff on here. We're not doing it straight away anyway, because we've got to head up into that uh, into that hillside there and build us a, uh, a nice little electric run, which we can unelectrify if you guys don't want to see it. But it feels a bit weird leaving electric trains out completely on the map. Having them tucked away up between Athens, Clearwater and Beaumont and possibly Chesapeake. So we're going to get from Athens to Clearwater and we're going to bring some more goodies up the, uh, the hillside here to pass some off to Clearwater. This isn't the most efficient way that we're going to do this. It wouldn't be mechanically sound as far as the gameplay goes. But to please me and to have something a little different and I guess visually pleasing, then we're, we're going to run along the side here. Wherever the heights are between the two, if they turn out to be exactly the same height, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Let's see. Contours would tell us. Well, they're both in a greeny, light greeny color. What are we looking at here? About... Uh, somewhere between 153 and 156. This is where I want it, out in the back. Uh, we're going to scoot round the sides. We'll have our freight link up to our freight station over there and cut them off from building up this end. Perhaps we might have a crossing. What about Clearwater? Are you kidding me? They're exactly the same height. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. Okay. So here's a thought, let's have a flat line all the way there. We can get the flattening tool and we can go 153 to 153 and stay at 153. This will be a tunnel exiting Clearwater into the Athens Basin here. And we'll have a, yeah, a sister tunnel into Athens and then out around the back. So. Do we want to head around the side here? Beaumont's definitely lower. We've got to drop quite a way, so we might follow this line down because I believe we get close to that height. We don't have to go all the way down with a freight here. And this is at the correct grade. So yes, this could be a link. What are we down here? 137. So we need a bit of distance away. Right then. Strength up size maximum we could actually have a road couldn't we that follows the train we'll put it on the inside though 
and we'll put the train on the outside. Uh, so it'll be a little shorter on the road, but it should be a little quicker with the train. What's this bit of road at? Because that could be where we uh, drift off to Clearwater. That could be the Clearwater Junction. Yeah, it's at 53. Look at it. So we're going with 53 or 54. I guess 53 is where this... Oh, 54? That's 54 there. We just need to avoid that uh, fat contour. <laughs> the dark contour. So we'd be heading around this way. We do want to keep it relatively straight. We just got to make sure we don't scoot down the side of the uh, the hill here, and we need enough room for I'd say at least double tracking. Now the trees are in the way a bit there. What have I done here? Have I gone 54? I think 54 will be fine. It's a nice middle ground because there were some 53 bits, weren't there? And it's roughly the same height as this road down here. So we can curve round and then up into Athens up here. I know there's a lot of terraforming, but it should look okay. Do we need to terraform much more than that? We could curve in up here. What level is this station at? If I've accidentally done this at the same height, it's at 154. We're going to have a big cliff face there, or rock face. Not cliff face, is it? Because we're here. We're not a mountain. There we go. There we go. Uh, we, we go a bit higher there, but they've built their own roads. So we'll need plenty of room to build a nice station alongside the rock face. Some of you have asked for aircraft. That is coming. And it's going to be up here in Athens. And it's not going to be, how should I say, convenient on purpose we're going to keep it well out of the way as you've probably guessed Athens is the place for streetcars as well as everything else this is going to be a, a yardy place don't worry we won't have it all flat everywhere but where we're going here will be flat and we're going to head right round it's going to be super flat in this corner because that's where the aircraft are going to be tucked away in the corner where are we having it down south? Now that I'm unsure of at the moment. Right, that's probably where we're going to have our train station. Our passenger train station. It's going to curve round like that. That gives us the opportunity to drift off this way. Should we desire, for whatever reason. Right, so we're going down here. I'm trying to keep the curves pleasant. We've just got to make sure we stay at the right height. I would like to get rid of these trees where we're heading. So we'll delete these. They're not required on our track, are they? No, you can see where our track's going to go. There we go. Is it going through there? <laughs> I don't know now. I think so. It's going that way, isn't it? There we go. Where are we heading through up at clear water i guess we need to do the same over here we're gonna be down this way where's 154 it's up here somewhere isn't it if not we'll make it well i'll tell you what 153 ain't bad yeah we can drop down a meter can't we we do have to start heading down if we're gonna link up with this station regardless our very first stations we're, we've come all the way around haven't we I'm going to go 53. We'll have it round this way. And we'll... Yeah, we'll probably make a little bit of a, a ledge. Where we come in. Like that. And then we'll start dropping down after it. So we're going to head down that way. Oh, do you know what? I forgot to disable the dynamic industries. It's fine. It looks like we're going to head through there would be good until there's too much of a cutting we'll just keep digging into the side here the road is going to come through here as well so we're going to have like a twin bridge twin tunnels not bridges yeah so we'll have twin tunnels heading through here is that enough for a tunnel i think so we'll get that up to 54 just there 
And then after that bit, we'll start heading down again. This is our work area. We're fortunately getting rid of all the boulders as well. 154. We need this to run so it curves. Not too terribly. We don't need it super fast. 160, there we go. 160 miles an hour. I don't think we're going to have any trains that do that. And we'll go nice and straight up to the uh, tunnel entrance and then we'll curve in the tunnel. And then we've got to figure out where we're coming out. Where have we drawn? We're only drawn up to there. Dear idea. This is a build and a half. Yeah, so we want to be curving around a little further, don't we? That's the wrong angle. If we curve, start curving more aggressively. Should we go 120? 120 looks nice. And we need to make sure wherever we come out is going to be where we start to flatten and head the other way. As long as that stays above 120, have we come out? We have. So we now have a place, don't we? In there. Right, and then we'll add the outside track. It's going to be double tracked, maybe triple tracked in places. As we'll be sharing with a, uh, a freight service, won't we? Uh, did I do that right at the edge? Right. Delete you back. You are going to work. Get you connected. And then we'll go in through there. There we go. Lovely. We have our tunneling, guys. That means let's get our delete tool. And then we get a rough idea where we're heading. Let's get back into our terrain tools then. 154. We can't go too tight on the corner. But we don't want to uh, drift too far away from the, the hillside either. But we do want a bit of a ledge regardless, don't we? A bit of a, a rock face is kind of nice, isn't it? What have we got over here? This is... We need to be up in that bit. Is that an electric train? Well, we only need to do 87, guys. There we go. I guess we need to curve a little more, don't we? That Guess who's going to run this then? That's wonderful. Yeah, so we need to be heading up that way. There we go. It's on that slope just there. This can be smoothed back off down here slightly. There we go. That's it. We're not going that way anymore. We need to uh, close that now and get us our asset delete tool so we're heading that way through there we can put some trees back in later if we really want but for now we just need to know where we're heading there we go i think we got it guys lovely we just sit in there and then we'll see with just what sort of uh sort of radius we need for this right if we start with the inside track we want it no slower then at this section than 85 don't we 86 there we go i'll take it 86 85 will do right we're heading up there let's make sure this is kind of lovely we can pick up a bit of speed there we've got a curve round up there anyway Oh yeah, we've got a road to put in, so we might as well follow this uh, this hillside here. Yeah, then we pick up a bit of speed. And then we go straight for a bit. Remember, we might need to uh, have a third track on here. Oh, yeah, that's fine. 94. Oh, it's happening. Nice fast stretch there. We can uh, adjust the terrain more as we see fit there we go it's nice and wiggly how are we doing so far that's pleasant yeah we'll need a bit more room for our road there that's kind of pleasant isn't it yes okay so i guess this we should just glide at this height around here 
we'll get rid of this road and we'll redo it because our track needs to be the flat part doesn't it the last turn into uh, into Athens will be a sharp one but I don't mind that our road is no longer with us though <laughs> that's that's awful uh, as in it, it leaves and heads down here so we're going to turn that into a different road yes out so we'll curve out to curve back in again because we need to come out around about here somewhere don't we let's get you flattened off like that so we can make a, a tidy tunnel let's get rid of our trees as this is a, a nice works area now gonna have some new trains for Athens oh I've deleted someone's garden trees that's fantastic okay official episode down here here we go <laughs> yeah I, I found an excuse to get it in lovely we will more than likely be doing quite a bit more of that now this road no you can't have that road we need to get this station in make sure it's all at the same height contours please the pleasant green isn't it should we um should we make this green then i'll have to smooth that out again Should we make the uh the train track and the colors this green color here like a really light green buildings let's get us just a single track uh high speed yes electric we might even have a, some electric freight trains but it, it doesn't won't harm us to run steam or diesel definitely big i don't know how big we'll need it but it definitely needs to be big we can have our platform close to that station up there that's where we're going to adjust it to and we will run along the side here with our train tracks how does that connect because we'll be running from there. Oh, yeah. We need to run you off the side. There we go. Make sure we don't have a million segments. That gives us enough room, I believe, to... Yeah, it should do. Give us enough room to have our crossings. I want you to go through there, but not at that angle. So, let's bring this up further right up to the tunnel there we go we might get the angle we're looking for then i will accept that not what you're doing to the hillside but i'll accept Ooh. is that because we're at an angle right you go straight right up to there that's unfortunate but i want to see if this makes a better job of it there we go well i don't think you do tunnels very well anyway yeah, I keep forgetting to disable that. It drops down to 67. I'm okay with that. This uh, this tunnel bit. That's fine. There are slow sections on railways, aren't there? And... Is that actually the right track? Technically not. So, let's add you in. That's the inside track, isn't it? There we go. 67 is fine. That's this one this one <laughs> is heading around the outside a little bit quicker now do we have the room to get across before the tunnel and i don't mind it being slow that is fine there we go there we go no flat crossing and we'll extend this as necessary and we have avoided the segments on our connecting piece of track here and now we need to drift round up to well, 85, weren't it? Well, if we go 90, I think that's a nice curve. We'll just go 90 all the way around. Oh, no. Maybe we could slow down, actually. Uh, heading into the station. Or we could drift further. Yeah, there we go. 80. We'll slow down to 80. And then at the last minute... Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. If we have our station there so we need a passenger station I guess we can have a terminus I don't mind a terminus they're not going to be that long 
they're supposed to be small trains and we'll go to I can't remember which side this is now I tell you what you've got the other bit of track up here Grand. there we go and then we'll put our station in there and we'll need crossing at the front and I, I you know what I will go diamond flat crossing thing scissors oh no I won't <laughs> well I've this is bound to work. Yeah, we want uh, scissors crossing, diamond in the middle, flat crossing. Yeah, no need for a uh, double slip switch there. That would be majorly redundant. Our first bit of uh, electrification, and that requires some official episode to tidy it up because I drifted somewhat. But we kept a better speed, didn't we, round there? There we go. You can have your uh, slope back now. We're still not connected in here. We may need to move the uh, the depot. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, don't delete it. Let's uh, make a quick edit to this to make sure we've got the building space and the connections we require. Do oh, actually, we've got more room there than I know we haven't. I would I think I'd rather move the depot wouldn't you depot has gone but we'll place it somewhere else it'll be fine we'll just have you there and then we'll have a whole bunch of buildings back down there along the side should hopefully stop them building we need a little access ramp don't we might as well have one with a shed on it and then a normal one to the side and we can't put them there can we no Right, if we have that just drifting off to there, I don't mind it. Maybe they'll build little... Yeah, they could build buildings on here, couldn't they? If we go up that end as well, like a little road. I like it. That's not bad, is it? hope no one's going that way. No. Hey, that's not bad at all. It's on a bit of a slope. That's fine. Maybe we can put some bushes there or something. Get you flattened out and then we'll smooth you. There we go, guys. It's in. And it should be connected to our... There we go. And it's connected to a few buildings, too. And we've got our passenger station up this end, which is going to be trams. We also need to give us a bit of room to build on, too. Yeah, streetcar running down here. Are we going to get this up and running today? I don't think so, but... I would like to get the work done. It's purely a build episode and a bit of news. I guess we could have it down here, couldn't we? Yeah, 30 meters. I don't want them turning round. So we'll probably have like a little loop up here. Just far enough away that we can have buildings and a road. Street access, there we go, through road. Lovely. Lovely, we've got a connection. Let's continue that into town. Oh, we can connect up to that road. Don't like that. Let's have it nice and curvy. That's our main road all the way through. So we'll uh, electrify you. Electric. Where are we going with this tram? Are we going to do the loop around here? Or up this end? I guess around... Oh, we've got a truck stop there. Not that we couldn't move the truck stop. Our trucks are driving through here, but we could always reroute them. I'll tell you what, we'll do a little turnaround there. That works. Yeah, straight down. And then if it gets big enough in Athens, we'll branch out. What I'm hoping to do here, it's like on a little hill. That's cool. Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah, what we're aiming to do here is help them grow a touch and then uh, trigger some demand lots of official episode because why not it's also going to bring clear water into the equation which is lovely are we fully connected i think we are except for clear water station and we need our double tracking all the way we need to put our main road back in i guess this is phase one of our build that's a pretty decent sized line isn't it yeah 
and I hope we get to see it. I don't know whether we will. We might. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? When there's trains on there, we won't see cars, but we should see trains. And we should, if we look out the window, we should definitely see all of that going on, especially heading around this corner. We could always get rid of the trees that are up here or lower that bit back down. There we go. We'll lower that bit back down, give it a bit of a cliff edge, get it close to the, the track there, and then we'll smooth this bit off a little bit down here. There we go. Just so the trees don't obstruct our view without having to uh, remove, or oh, they do still. Wow, that's, that's it's impressive. But they are tall trees though. Oh yeah, we need a bit more room here, don't we? Give you a little bit more room. We don't want to be right next to the track either. And we're going to need to remove some more trees. We don't want them on the, the hillside there. They're fine. You're, well, that was fine. Uh, you could have left that one in. That's fine. Everything else is fine. That's what I'm running with. Are we good? Yeah, so uh, let's look for a straight bit of track so we can start our road off. It, none of it's straight, is it? It's all curvy. The whole lot. <laughs> this is fairly straight. We'll get rid of that. Now we know roughly where this road needs to be. We can leave some room for it around this corner. There we go. Just need a little bit more room. So yeah, this is how this is going to be running. Up there. Do you know what I should have installed, guys? Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Parallelism would make this a little easier. But it's fine. We'll eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfectly parallel, does it? I've probably gone a bit wonky there, haven't I? That's fine. We'll have a straight bit for the road. And then we need to get far enough apart to make his his tunnel in there which is going to be a bit snug i guess we need to bring that out don't we probably from up there somewhere just so it can make a nice entrance with the other one. Ooh, don't connect into anything i don't know what you were doing there okay i like it and then we need to come out next to it up here I think that one's fluked it. That's nice. Get you about there. And then, oh, the angle's a little off. Bring it back a touch. And then that's going off into clear water. Oh, I'll tell you what, we're not far off. We're definitely going to get the stations that we might get a train running. I don't know yet. This is going to be a terminus to start with, but we're not building an actual terminus. We'll get you sat on here. I guess anywhere there will do. There. And we need the bit where we're having a crossing. Crossover. Oh, it'll be temporary as well, won't it? Yeah. Since this is sort of mainline operations, I'm not going to have it as a flat crossing. The other one's a terminus, so I don't mind for that one. Let's head you out that way. And you are going to be up there. We don't need it quick. You are heading round to there. Guys, we have it in. And a crossover as well. Perfect. We may have a through track at some point. It might be in the middle. I'm not sure yet. What am I looking for? Signals, of course. This just needs to be that. Oh no, you have done the wrong side. I didn't know there was a left side of traffic for the two. I, I was very confused there, guys. You want the right side or the correct side and the right side, both. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, the, the catenary is making signalling impossible. We do have gantries and stuff, so we could put it over the top, however they sit. 
a little unfortunate. Well, you can see it coming around the corner, can't you? Yeah, that needs to be one way, though. Okay. And the same goes up here, but because we're a terminus with no through traffic, we can add that. Oh, I think I need to add the mod that spaces these out better. They're like super close together, aren't they? Which is fine, actually, because on the corners, you want them close together, and there's a lot of corners. It's just a shame that they're, they're all uh, close together on the straights. It's, it, it's lovely. It's lovely. There we go. We've got a road up there. This might need a little bit of paint in between. We might uh, dirtify it, put some gravel in, something like that around it. It will need some smoothing off, some fine smoothing. I'm only putting this in to give myself a rough idea of how that's going to go. But yeah, it's going to be something like that. Might even be those. I haven't decided yet. I mean, the other one works, doesn't it? Yeah, we can have a mix and match. If I'll, I'll, I'll play with that. I'll play with that. That'll do for now. It's not going to be the uh, the finished product anyway. I don't think trees on top of a tunnel entrance are uh, required. And a little bit of uh, official episode to end with, I think. We need a little bit more terrain moving out to the side there. Yeah, just need more more space, don't we? And where do we drop down? Just here. That needs to now be smoothed out. There we go. Guys, it's kind of beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, this isn't a ledge at all, really, is it? It's just a hill down the other side. That bit's a ledge. We'll have to do something with that to head down. Maybe we'll head over the road. What are you having? Buses? I guess buses out here would be fine. Link to something. There we go. Yeah, just for now. I'm not sure what we're doing with it, but we need something in there and ready to go, don't we? And uh, that would give us the opportunity to do sort of a loop, wouldn't it? I know, I'm getting rid of their very small town's buildings. Could we have that like a circle? Yes, no electrics for you. That's not too bad, is it? And it's not perfectly circly overly. Do we like that? That one can drift off that way then, can't it? Yeah, like that. There we go. Something different. Official episode all down there. What do you think to that, clear water? Uh, we will need some buildings on there, won't we? Passenger buildings. We can fit a couple on the back, that's for sure. And maybe a small one? Ooh, it's close, but I think we've we about get it in. Look at that. That is super close. A couple of there. I mean, that's way too many. It'll do, wouldn't it? Clear water. It doesn't need to be. <laughs> Clear water station would be lovely. We have it. I guess we should make a test run, shouldn't we? Just get one on here. And then we'll do it properly <laughs> when we come back. Which way? It doesn't matter which platform you go in. So let's make us a quick route. It's going to be the line, but uh, we're not going to set up the buses or anything like that. We're not going to signal up more than we already have. And I promised us we'd have it. That was the colour, wasn't it? Right, we got the line. It should be obeying the correct sides. Yeah, it doesn't matter what platform. That could be one way. And then we'll take a little ride on it, guys. We'll get us the electric train on. We're going to put a temporary depot in at the end of the track here. Give ourselves a bit of room. I know it's going to be on a hill and everything. This isn't staying. You'll be pleased to know. Because it's ridiculous. There we go. But it's in and it works. Kind of. It will give us a way to get our uh, test train out. That's, that's what that's going to be. Yeah, we won't do anything with the detailing there. Uh, we'll just destroy it and it'll reset because this is going to be a bit of a bit of a slope down 
and we're going to connect into there and head off to Beaumont as well. So it's it's half of the build, isn't it? And we can get the buses and stuff set up as we go. Uh, there's probably way too many bus stops on there. No such thing, is there? Are we good? I think we're good. All right, guys, we're on board our electric train. I know I didn't show you the actual train itself, but that, that's for the next episode, and it'll be in the thumbnail. I'll make sure it's in the thumbnail. And uh, when we're finished, we'll get to have a proper look at it. And I'll go on then. <laughs> you can't see much there. There she is. There she is. Bit of a different outro. Well, that's our uh, that's our passenger train for the mountains. Unfortunately, we're heading off to the uh, the new stop. I'm gonna pause it there and edit it quickly and get back in. I wasn't gonna try and find the uh, correct nose position. But guys, a bit of a build today. Definitely lots of work to do on it. As far as tidying it up, we've got the uh, highway to finish, which connects Athens and Clearwater up here in the hills. And we'll also go down to Beaumont and connect them with some rail as well. But yeah, guys, enjoyed that one. It's going better than I thought. Thoughts on what we should do with painting on there? Probably needs a bit of gravel, maybe some grass and stuff. Um, maybe a little more of uh, the ballast heading over there. Well, this is moving, isn't it, this train? I can't wait to set up the uh, passenger services either end, the uh, streetcar, Athens streetcar, and the buses over at Clearwater. And then uh, we'll see how many people like this and what will be more popular, road or rail? All right, guys, thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.